Hello everyone. So today's video, we will be talking about Y delta transformation. Y delta transformation consists of three resistors. So I'm just going to write it down right here. And by application, it, it is the analysis of a three phase power circuit. So essentially, in this video, we will be talking about these two different transformations. This is Y and this is Delta. And in electrical engineering, or what your professor is going to do is there, he's or she is going to ask you, what are the Y parameters or what are the delta parameters given the other uh, initial values, vice versa. So we have Y and delta, and uh, the Y can look like a T. So this, this, it could look like this, a T. And for delta, it could look like this with a connected nodes that form a rectangle. And you, we basically have three impedances with one side left out. So this is what we have right here, Y delta transformation. And now, I'm going to show you guys how to find uh, the values if you're given the delta parameters or the y delta y parameters initially. So let's start off with a y transformation given the uh, delta parameters. So I'm just going to label each resistors to make it more clear. So this one's R1. This one is R2 and this one is R3 for our y, y configuration and for our delta config configuration we have uh, RA that is the equivalence of R1 in the Y configuration and then R2 right here we have RB and for R3 uh, in the delta configuration we have RC so now Let's determine what R1 is. So R1, and let's just write down all the th resistors. So R1, and then R2, and then R3. So all three resistors is going to consist of a fraction of based off of, co of the combination of these three resistors in the delta configuration. So the numerator. So the numerator essentially consists of the multiplication or product of the two other unequivalent resistors, which is RB and RC. RA is the equivalent of R1, so the ones that are not that are not equivalent is RB and RC. So that is RB times RC, and in the denominator, it's essentially the sum of the values of all three resistors, which is RA plus RB plus RC. And then we have R2, and that's uh, basically the same thing. The denominator is the same, which is RA plus RB plus RC. Uh, the numerator consists of uh, the two unequivalent resistors, which is RA and RC. And then for R3, it's RA times RB, and then the denominators is also the same. Now, let's flip that the other way around. Say that we're already given what R1 and R2 and R3 is, then how are we going to find RA, RB, and RC in the delta configuration? So I'm just going to write them down right here. RA, RB, and RC. And, uh, for, to find our delta parameters, it's the same thing. We have a fraction. And the numerator for all three uh, equations are going to be the same. And the numerator consists of 
a combination of two pairs of resistors multiplied together. So we have one pair right here, RA and RB, a product of that. That's one pair. Another pair is RA and RC. Wait, uh, excuse me, it's coming from the uh, Y parameter. So it's R1 times R2 plus R1 times R3 plus R2 times R3. And the denominator is just the equivalent Y value, which is R1. And then for RB, it's the numerator is the same thing. So let me just write it down right here. And also for RC, which is R1. Okay, let's write this down as quickly as possible to move on. And the denominator is pretty simple. So RB, the equivalent of that is R2. And, and the denominator, denominator RC, that's equal to R3. And that is how Y delta transformation works. So moving on, here we are given a example where we have to determine what our delta configuration values are going to be. Now, here we are already given what the initial values for the Y configuration parameters. So the, these are the following values, R1 as 1 ohms, R2 as 2 ohms, and R3 as 3 ohms. Now we have to determine what RA, RB, and RC are. And to clarify the equivalence of each resistance in each configuration, R1 is equivalent to RA, R2 is equivalent to RB, and R3 is equivalent to RC. And now let's write down all the equations to determine what our equivalent delta values are. So RA is going to be equal simply R1 times R2 plus R2 times R3 plus R1 times R3 divided by R1. Then RB, the numerator is going to be the same. divided by R2 and then RC the denominator is going to be R3 so all we need to do now is sub in the values so it's going to be 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 1 times 3 and that is going to be equal to 11 and I'm doing this first because for our other equations the numerator is the same thing it's going to be 11 as well but the denominator is going to be different because as we know the uh, resistor values for the Y configurations are different so R1 we're going to have 1 as the denominator when we have to determine what RA is and when it's 1 RA is going to be 11 divided by 1, and that will be 11 ohms. And here, the numerator is going to be the same, 11. R2 is going to be equal to 2, so our denominator is going to be 2 right here. And what we get is 5.5 ohms. RC is going to be equal to 11 divided by R3, which is 3 ohms, so we put 3 in the denominator. And what we get here is going to be 3.67 ohms. And that is it. That's our values for our delta configuration circuitry. I hope you guys learned something in this video, and I will see you in the near future. Here are some other videos that I would like to recommend you watching. You guys can enjoy the videos nodal analysis or mesh current analysis. And if you haven't watched all four other preliminary videos, Y Delta Transformation, Series and Parallel Resistors, 
voltage and current division or Kirchhoff's laws, I recommend you guys watching those first before touching upon those two.